Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Grab your mask and flippers, because we're headed to the aquarium today. The aquarium has all sorts of fish and marine animals. And believe it or not, it's the perfect place to practice some addition. Let's check it out. This tank has two different kinds of fish. There are 15 of the orange fish and 7 of the blue fish. How many fish are in the tank in all? We can find the total number of fish by adding 15 and 7. It can be helpful to write the numbers like this. Be sure to line up the numbers carefully so they sit nicely on top of each other and form a column. The ones place column and the tens place column. And here is a very important clue. We always start from the ones place and work to the left. You have lots of different tools to help you add. Let's start by modeling this with base 10 blocks. First, let's break down 15 into 10s and 1s. 15 has 10 and 5. We can use one 10 stick to show 10 and 5 unit cubes to show the 5. Let's do the same with 7. We just need 7 unit cubes to show this number. Great! Now we can add all these base 10 blocks to find out how many fish are in the tank. When we add, we always start with the ones place and move to the left, which is called the tens place. Now let's start by counting the unit cubes. There are 12 unit cubes, but these unit cubes represent the ones, and you can't put a 12 in the ones place. It has a group of 10 in it, so you need to regroup. When you regroup ones, it means that you take 10 ones and make a new group of 10 with them. And you move the new group of 10 to the tens place, like this. Take 10 unit cubes and replace them with a 10 stick. We didn't change the amount of cubes, we just grouped them differently. Now we have two unit cubes left, so there is a two in the ones place. Our ones place is done. Now let's work on the tens place. We had one 10 from the number 15, and we just regrouped a 10 from our ones place. So, if we add them all together, we have two 10 sticks. So, put a 2 in the tens place. This shows that 15 plus 7 is 22. Nice work! We used regrouping to solve this addition problem. There are 22 fish in that tank. Over here are some penguins. The sign says a penguin eats 37 fish for breakfast and 48 fish for dinner. How many fish does a penguin eat in a day? We can use addition again to solve this. We need to add 37 and 48. Let's try this one using a place value chart. We can use the place value chart by lining it up like this. This way, we can see the different place value spots lined up. The 7 and the 8 are lined up because they are in the 1's place. The 3 and 4 are lined up because they are in the 10's place. Right now, these numbers are only 2 digits, but as the numbers get bigger, it is really helpful to stay organized and neat with your work. In the place value chart, you can see that 37 has 3 10's and 7 1's. And you can see that 48 has 4 10's and 8 1's. We always start with the ones place, so we need to add 7 and 8 first. 7 plus 8 is 15, which has 1 10 and 5 ones. This number is too big for just the ones place. We will need to regroup, just like before. Since 15 has 5 ones, we can leave the 5 in the ones place. Then we can bring this extra 10 to the column with all of the other 10s. Now add the 10s. 1 plus 3 is 4, and 4 plus another 4 is 8. So, put an 8 in the tens place. Here it is. 37 plus 48 equals 85. Great job! At this aquarium, a penguin eats 85 fish a day. <laughs> That's a lot of fish. Let's take a look at this tortoise over here. They can grow to be pretty old. The sign says that the tortoise came to the aquarium 29 years ago when it was just 44 years old. How old is the tortoise now? We can use addition again to find the tortoise's age. We are adding 29 and 44. Let's use the place value chart again. First, 
we add the numbers in the ones place. 9 plus 4 is 13. We need to regroup again. So, first keep the 3 from the ones place. Then, put the extra 10 in the tens place to be added with the rest of the numbers in the tens place. Now you can add the tens up. 1 plus 2 is 3, and 3 plus 4 is 7. So, 29 plus 44 is 73. Wow, this mighty tortoise is now 73 years old. Great work today. We practiced adding two-digit numbers and modeling the problems using base 10 blocks and place value charts. We learned to regroup by taking 10 ones and turning them into a 10 stick. We showed this with base 10 blocks, and we also showed it by writing a little one in the tens column of the equation. This helps us stay organized and not make little mistakes. Hmm, do you think we'll find any subtraction problems at this aquarium too? I hope you'll join me in finding out.